Hello everyone, welcome back to the kitchen table. Um, today on the kitchen table, uh, as you can see, I've cleared out most of the drone stuff because I'm actually gonna be reviewing something that um, I have bought that I think might be a useful addition to your toolkit if you are into maybe adding some ground-based video into your drone footage. But before we look at that, we must uh, obviously have a look at what the beverage uh, today is. On the kitchen table, we have this rather excellent organic Cabernet Sauvignon from Chile, Las Mulas, which is um, going down very nicely indeed, so cheers. Mm. So yes, um, this is a product um, uh, review of a Kickstarter that I backed last year that was successful and has uh, recently delivered out to the first of its backers and are now accepting uh, orders for subsequent runs. Um, I first had the thought that this would be useful when I filmed this video up here. Uh, it's of uh, every year a group of families, about 15, 16 families all know each other well and our kids, we all kind of pile into a campsite and take it over and have a mini festival, which is really quite good fun. Uh, and last year, so May 2014, I took the Phantom 2 and the GoPro and took some, took some footage. Um, and I wanted to mix it in with some handheld footage and so I actually took the GoPro off uh, the, uh, the, the drone and sort of did some handheld stuff and quite frankly compared to the beautiful three axis stabilized footage it looked rubbish because you know it's handheld. Um, and so I thought well, it would be quite good if I could have something that I could quite easily uh, transfer over. Um, and of course at CES we saw the um, uh, DJI showing its prototype for its handheld gimbaling system for the Inspire camera, um, but I, you know, it would have been I would have really liked to have back then something that could easily stabilise the shots from you know a GoPro or a GoPro Lite. This is an SJ4000, kind of mini digital camcorder, or even these days your phone. I mean, since I did that, I've now got a, a better phone. It's a Nexus Five, which has got a really really good camera, and so. He says, looking for where he's put it, um, last year I backed on, on Kickstarter this, which is the rather interestingly shaped stable cam. And basically it is a handheld stabilizer for phones and for small action cameras and small format camcorders and point and shoot cameras as well. So I thought we'd have a look at this, show you some demo footage that I've taken and uh, and you can see what you think. So how it works, basically you have in here a telescoping system with a big counterbalance on this end, uh, a device to hold on the range of, uh, of cameras at this end and a rather nifty gimbling system here. And what makes it quite useful is that it's got a means to attach both your phone and, if we spin the phone adapter off, a traditional tripod mount there. Which means if you have a GoPro, uh, either the original or the GoPro likes, this is the SJ4000, with the tripod mount, you can just spin that on and that's ready to go. Obviously any camera, camcorder or anything that's you know lightweight, this isn't designed for digital SLRs, although apparently they are bringing out an adapter to use with a digital SLR later this year. But you can use anything that's got the standard um, uh, adapter on there for a tripod mount. Um, and for mounting your phones, it's actually got this, uh, you can see there, there's two different thicknesses, a thinner and a thicker one. And these rubber strakes have been very well designed to grip a phone. Mine fits in the larger one and it's a very firm grip and you know I can quite safely and securely jiggle this up and down. Which is pretty handy because one of the other things you can do with this stabilizer is of course hold it upside down and take shots very low to the ground using a stabilized footage. Um, which is another neat trick. So, so far I was quite impressed. Um, the build quality is very good. It's very solid. This is obviously um, a quite a, a, a chunky um, telescoping system. The gimbal is all nicely machined. It's all made in the United States. Um, it's put together in the United States and it's all shipped out from the US. 
which is unusual um, these days, I guess. Um, and all in all, it's a pretty good package. Um, I'm quite impressed with it. Now, what I've done is I've done some 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 sort of test footage. I got it. Uh, it was I was out when it was originally delivered, and so I had to go and collect it from our local post office. And on the way back in the car, I had my phone with me and nothing else. And I stopped off on a bit of a um, bit of a track that I I quite often use to fly and walk the dog and stuff. And thought, well, I'll give it a go. So um, I took some initial in the snow. Uh, initial shots to test it out and then uh, after a, a, a bit more practice I took some indoors so what we'll do is we'll cut away and then we'll have a look at uh, have a look at some of those tests and talk through those so here I am trudging along with the snowflakes falling you can hear my feet squelching and you can see this is me trying to just hold it normally just my phone in my hand and here is the footage with the stable cam this is first time out and you can see a noticeable difference in the smoothness we've still got a bit of sort of side to side wallowing but Bear in mind, this was literally the first go I had at it. I was quite impressed. Here's me running like a demon, holding my phone. And here's me running at the same pace, as you can hear, with the stable cam. What a dramatic difference that makes. And so here's some footage with a bit more practice. I've done side by side, you can see just walking through at a brisk pace through the house, unstabilized, trying to hold the phone steady with my hand on the left, stable cam on the right. And then here's the same thing again, but at pace. And I think you can see that the stable cam shot is definitely on the left. So there we go. Um, sorry, I was just looking at the kind of maximum length you can get out of this thing. The other benefit if you want to take uh, you know, shots right up is that this, this is a good two feet added to your kind of as high as you can reach. Um, and of course the flip side is you turn that upside down and as I said before you can get some very interesting low to the ground kind of shots. There's some demos on the um, on the website of somebody skateboarding and holding this down near the road surface as they went. So you know, it's quite flexible. Um, it doesn't weigh a great deal. Uh, it's not light. I wouldn't say pocket. I wouldn't say pocket size or pocket weight, but I'd certainly say if you've got a flight, and ca flight case, flight backpack, it's no hardship to um, to put it into a side pocket of that. Um, and I think it's quite flexible. If you know you're going to do some some additional shots, and, and quite frankly, there's no real need. I think if you've got a good smartphone camera, you could leave your you know your GoPro attached to the Phantom and do your sort of establishing shots or ground based shots with it, or even just use it on its own. Um, I think you'll agree from the demo footage that I did, considering I hadn't really practiced very much, the running, you could hear by my squelchy footsteps outside and me running around the ground floor of my house there, that, that it really does absorb those jerks when you're moving fast. Um, and I just found that, you know, once you kind of got used to holding your hand out and finding the balance point and having a loose wrist, walking around and getting a kind of fluid motion was pretty easy. So I quite like that. So like I said, stable cam, um, I'll put a link down in the description. Um, go and have a look at them. 75 US dollars. Uh, if you're out, that's, that's delivered um, free in the US. If you're outside um, rest of the if you're outside the US, want it delivered the rest of the world, it's fifteen dollars to anywhere in the rest of the world, which is again pretty reasonable. Um, so yeah, I thought that was just an interesting little addition to the toolkit. If you want to, um, you know, enhance the videos that you're taking with some establishing shots, or just generally as a tool to have for you know, those of us that, that, that aren't professional enough to be able to go out and buy a DJI Ronin, um, but you have your smartphone in your pocket at all times, if you have this somewhere in the car or whatever, then it's it's a useful little tool. I quite like it. Um, I certainly don't regret backing it. Um, and uh, I think with practice, I'll get even better with it. So, um, yeah. As I said, build quality good. The only thing I can think of is that these rubber strakes here might start going after a while because of the pressure of the phone in the top. But again, that's that should hopefully be a very easy and cheap thing to replace because it just spins off. So pretty impressed with that. That's you know I think that's a, a thumbs up for that particular Kickstarter. They've delivered on on what they promised and not too overdue either. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much indeed for watching, and um, I'll see you again soon here on the kitchen table. Until then. Cheers.